In the early days of Hasbro's G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero run in the 1980s, the company introduced two glider toys, one for the Joes and one for Cobra. And while I know I certainly would have had a lot of fun with these toys when I was a child, they wouldn't have lasted long because they were manufactured from a very weak foam material. And subsequently, they are now extremely hard to find on the collector's market. But in the studio today, I have a custom Action Force SAS version of these gliders based upon Hasbro's original design. And this was created by an awesome customizer, goes by the name of Screaming Eamon Customs. The link to their Facebook page is in the description of this video. So I wanna take a up close and personal look at this amazing SAS glider, so stay tuned. Come with me, toy fans. This video is proudly brought to you by Valiverse, the creative company behind the most exciting new action figure range available on the market today, Action Force. Make sure you visit the Valiverse.com website to purchase your amazing Action Force comics, toys, and other products, and follow Valiverse on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook to keep up to date with the latest product news. All the links are in the description below. Shop Valiverse, because it's time for action. Hey toy fans, my name is Tony and welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. Screaming Eamon Customs has already created fantastic reproductions of both the G.I. Joe and the Cobra Glider. And to get a better look at these particular custom toys, these reproduced toys, there are two excellent videos over on the Retro Blasting YouTube channel. Cobra's stolen our plans! He's escaping in the Viper Glider! Joe, catch him! The G.I. Joe Falcon Glider Flying high in the sky Sailing through the air He's America's fighter G.I. Joe can fly G.I. Joe He's a Joe. real American hero Flying high in the sky He's chasing Cobra in a desperate race Soaring and diving in a great sky chase He did, Joe! G.I. Joe Falcon Glider and Cobra Viper Glider Sold separately figures included from Hasbro now the SAS version of this glider that we have in the studio today is from a very, very limited run. And I am incredibly grateful that he has gifted one to this channel. The construction of this toy is relatively simple. It's manufactured from a foam board material that's about three or four millimeters thick. There are slots at the end of either wing for some kind of tail fins to be installed. And I do love the fact that these tail fins have the Union flag on them. It's a really nice touch in it. The, the flag just really pops. The top side of the glider is decorated with a digital urban camouflage pattern. And of course, it has that signature Palatoy Action Force SAS logo on either wing. Now the underside of the glider is plain black with a little bit of that digital urban camouflage appearing towards the nose of the glider. We also have the SAS logo on the underside and this beautiful yellow piping across the kind of back edge of the glider, which is another little addition of color that really makes this particular piece pop when it's on display. Now, the way you attach a figure to this is the exact same method that Hasbro used back in the early 80s for the gliders for G.I. Joe and Cobra. And that is via this yellow plastic bracket, which is a exact 3D printed replica of the original. Although the G.I. Joe and Cobra ones were like black or dark gray in, in color, uh, obviously this here has been given the yellow to, to make it kind of uniformed with that uh, classic Palatoy SAS look. There is a small peg protruding from the underside of this yellow bracket, and that peg sits into the screw hole of your action figure, and then you simply held in place with elastic bands. But when it comes to the Palatoy Action Force toy line, this can present a little bit of a problem because the only articulated figures that actually had screw holes in the back, the only ones with O-ring construction, were vehicle drivers. And there were only three of those figures in the SAS range. We have Stalker, who is a UK variant of version one Snake Eyes, and he came with the Panther. Then we have the Blades action figure, which is a UK recolor of the G.I. Joe Tripwire figure. And he came packed in with Hawk, the SAS helicopter, which is a UK recolor of the Cobra Fang. And finally, we have Hunter, a UK recolor of the Cobra Officer, and he came packed in with the Wolverine. 
but of all the figures brought out by Palatoy in the early 1980s, it's the O-ring construction articulated figures that are the hardest to find. And that's because they weren't produced in the same quantities as the carded 5POA style action figures that the line was known for. And my personal preference is to have this glider piloted by the SAS pilot. Yes, Palatoy introduced a 5POA pilot action figure that came equipped with a small black pistol, a yellow air vest, and he was sculpted with a high altitude helmet and face mask. But because of his five point articulation design, he doesn't have the screw hole in the back, which is a, you know, a, a feature that's introduced to pin the articulated figures together and, and hold the O-ring in place. And I really didn't want to have to cut this peg off of the glider just to attach the pilot. But fortunately, you can still fit the figure here. He just needs to sit a little bit further forward. So actually, the small plastic peg, I've actually positioned this just between his legs, kind of right up into his crutch, uh, and have strapped him on with some elastic bands, and it just looks terrific. The pop of yellow on this figure's helmet visor really goes with the design aesthetic of the rest of the glider. And of all the different Action Force teams, it really makes sense to give this glider to the SAS. And that's because this Covert Strike Force are experts in different types of infiltration methods, whether it be on land, on sea, or in the air. When you add this SAS glider to your vintage Palatoy Action Force collection, it just fits in seamlessly with the other toys in the range. And now when it comes to air infiltration, this SAS squad has now got three different methods. That being the helicopter, the parachute, and now the stealth glider. Now we'll point out that these customs are not designed to fly like the originals, but that's really not a problem because I'm not the kind of collector who's gonna attach a figure to this and then go throw it around in the park and destroy it. This is a a beautiful piece, but also I imagine, you know, it, it, it's a delicate piece. It's something you need to handle with kid gloves, and I certainly don't want to break it. Now, when Scream and Eamon Customs first produced this glider, it was part of a very limited run of 20 sets, which also included an original signed print by comic artist Jamie Sullivan of IDW G.I. Joe fame. And he produced this piece of art to be included with the set that included the SAS glider as well as a Red Shadows themed Wolverine named the Crimson Krieg. And this is an absolutely stunning piece of art. Really, really stunning piece of art. I can't wait to get this framed, hang it on a wall, and have the glider kind of suspended from the ceiling, hanging over this beautiful piece of art. Now, I don't know how long ago that Screaming Eamon Customs produced this. You know, he told me there was only a a limited run of 20 sets. I don't know how far back that goes, so the chances of collectors being able to acquire one of these for their collection, I believe, would be very, very slim. Which makes the fact that this custom SAS glider was gifted to the channel all that more valuable to me. Eric, I really, really appreciate the generosity. I love this piece, and I can't wait to display it with the rest of my Palatoy Action Force SAS collection. So thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to check out some of our other Action Force content, you can click the links right here. And don't forget, if you want to check out the Screaming Eamon Customs Facebook page, there is a link listed below. I'm Tony from Analog Toys, and I'll see you in the next video.